Hello everybody. I hope you had a great week. As usual, my name is Martin the Psalmist and welcome to the Simple Congregation podcast. This is a platform where we motivate you and inspire you from the insights of God's word to grow, to progress forward and to achieve great success and progress all around. I'm happy you could join me today. Today I want to speak about the principle of spiritual reproduction. One of the major principles in the growth tangent spiritually is giving yourself to meditation of God's word, which is what God says you are. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 it says, "Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things in meditation is where what is in your heart of your mind forms pictures of what is in your spirit because god is a spirit and communicates from his spirit to your spirit it is with your spirit that you capture his voice and his instruction that is the power of meditating on god's word everything in the kingdom is governed by principles same way the natural and or rather in the natural we are governed by laws and principles for example the law of gravity the science people as we know they call it newton's law of universal gravitation now newton's law of universal gravitation states that every particle in the universe with a force that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers sounds like a mouthful doesn't it the same is with the kingdom of god there are spiritual laws that govern everything in the kingdom of god for example where it's whether it's about your growth whether it's about your multiplication whether it's about your increase whether it's about your forward progress there are principles and laws that govern each and every subject that pertains to your life and a good example of spiritual growth how do you know you are growing spiritually are you patient are you more tolerant about people around you are you understanding are you full of grace are you helpful are you kind are you considerate in the kingdom of god your growth is measured by your fruits that means your corresponding action to what influences you on the inside which becomes your belief system the book of galatians chapter 5 verse 22 it says but the fruit of the spirit is love is joy is peace is long suffering is gentleness is goodness is faith verse 23 says meekness temperance and against such there is no law like i mentioned before we're talking about the principle of spiritual reproduction and and as you are for example planning to make a meal or prepare a meal there's always those uh, simple ingredients and simple things that you need for that recipe so is the same thing with spiritual reproduction there are ingredients that help make and reproduce those same things the book of proverbs chapter 24 verse 3 it says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches so i'm going to dive in a little deeper and give the description of what wisdom is what is wisdom wisdom is the quality of having experience knowledge and good judgment 
the quality of being wise. What is the definition of understanding? It's the ability to understand something and to have comprehension. Lastly, what is the definition of knowledge? Knowledge is facts, it's information and skills acquired through experience or education. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The Bible continues to say in the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Verse 8, exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. Verse 9, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to you. So this is what we learn from this. God's kind of wisdom teaches you how to exercise good judgment and wise execution of decisions in governance, in business, in kingdom and ministry work, and mostly with those around you. Number one thing I've learned from that verse is when you exalt her, wisdom and understanding, which is the ability to receive and execute divine comprehension in your spiritual walk with God, it takes and it brings you to a place of honor, a place where you will be appreciated and esteemed highly. Wisdom and understanding will bring you honor and promote you. It shall bring grace to your head and multiply the grace of God upon your life. Number two, wisdom and understanding have a characteristic of reproduction within themselves. If you read with me from, um, on the book uh, from the book of Proverbs, chapter four, verse eight, it says, "Exalt her, and she shall promote thee; she shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her." In that text of scripture. Wisdom and understanding is referred to as a she. That means it has the ability to reproduce and uh, a seed after itself. Again, I repeat, wisdom and understanding and knowledge carry the ability from God to reproduce and they are only activated by the, by the Spirit of God that is at work and living within, within us. The Lord into, unto us, the Spirit, and we become a living soul. The Lord actually breathed into us His Spirit, and we became a living soul. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So as we meditate more on God's word, he begins to speak to us through his word and leadings and teaches us all things. The book of John chapter 14 verse 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Verse 27, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the word giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Today, one powerful thing that I've learned today is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding have the power to reproduce the fruit that you are seeking. In every career that you're in, the, 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 the aspect of wisdom knowledge and understanding has within itself the power which is powered by the spirit of god to reproduce after itself it says as i finish exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor so if you need promotion if you need honor embrace wisdom understanding 
and knowledge. I'm excited to have been able to bring you this episode. Of course, as we finish, as always, our daily confession of faith. I am a child of the Most High God. His power lives in me. I carry His DNA. I am helped of God. I am blessed of God. I am lifted of God. I am favored of God. I am seated with Christ in heavenly places, ruling and reigning in all matters of life. The Spirit of God lives in me, works in me, works with me, and works through me at all times in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you again for joining us today for this amazing broadcast. As always, my good name is Martin the Psalmist. See you next time on the Simple Congregation Podcast.